Hey guys, it's uh, Robert Sarver. It's Thursday, the 23rd, and I want to just give you an update of the Performance Center for the Phoenix Suns and the Phoenix Mercury. This is where the front entrance is. Uh, it'll have a glass entrance coming down, um, doors going in, and we'll have a patio over here. One of the cool things about the patio is we're going to have a kind of a bench with a big art feature that'll be steel that'll have the name engraved of every player to ever play for the Phoenix Suns. So anybody who played here wants to come by, show their kid or grandkid, uh, it'll be right there. Um, this is the reception area here. Uh, we got an area right around the corner here for media to hang out for a little bit while they're waiting for practice to be over so they can interview players. I'm gonna show you the court. We just poured this thing yesterday. Um, this is the concrete. Obviously we've got a kind of state-of-the-art cushiony floor court, two courts that'll be put in here. Um, if you look up here, you'll see some of these openings will have windows, with a lot of natural light coming through, but then they'll also have louvers on the outside so that the light comes through without a glare or a direct sunlight coming in. Uh, as we walk in here, um, I'm heading into the Phoenix Mercury locker room and uh, this is their locker room. The lockers will be across there and then uh, have a big video board here for the coach to watch film and go over film. Uh, this is the shower system. Uh, we made improvements. All the showers are individual showers for the Mercury and the Suns versus group showers. Um, going back in here is restrooms, sinks, uh, and then moving over here into the wet area uh, where they'll have their own uh, cold plunge and jacuzzi. This is the training facility for the Mercury here where you have the tables and players get taped and manipulation and things like that from the trainers. Um, with glass looking out onto the courts. We want as many areas where players are to be able to look out and see the basketball courts. Right around the corner here is where the Mercury coaches area is. They'll have all their workstations and tables there. And again, they'll be able to look out onto the court. Continuing to walk down the hall here, I'm walking into an auxiliary locker room where coaches and maybe some of the G League players will be able to use um, with lockers and showers and things like that. Just gives us more flexibility and more capacity. This is Jay Gaspar's area where a lot of the equipment will be for the Suns and the Mercury. We have another storage area across the hall, but this is, this is the main one. You can see I'm looking at a stair, a walkway from one side to the other. This area roof here gets a hard lid that roof down there gets a hard lid, and then the big roof here is gonna be super cool. It's got a large black metal mesh drop down ceiling uh, that's gonna really have a nice look to it. I'm gonna go up the stairs here to the second floor of the west side of the building. This is basketball operations and coaches offices. Boy, there's a view of Camelback, isn't that pretty? That's a pretty mountain. Uh, this break room leads into this walkway that goes across to the other side where the locker rooms are in the uh, kitchen and lounge area. And it also is a place where our film crew has a better view to film workouts. Walking into the offices, down this hallway is a bunch of workstations for employees. This is the assistant coaches' offices. They'll have a bunch of work cubicles here with some views. And then in the back there, be a nice little conference table and conference room uh, for guys to work. Um, the whole facility is all wired and connected. So any kind of film or video can be seen on any, any, any TV. So whether coach is sending film to an assistant coach or putting stuff in the locker room for players to see, this is a conference room for the basketball operations staff. Has a nice view, looking right down onto the court. This is Monty's office. Um, see a little TV there, and he's got his area for his boards where 
He can draw up his plays. He likes to draw a lot of things. He likes to put things down on paper or on, on walls, marker walls. This is James's office. He's also got a view. Uh, one of the things I've learned over the last several years is trying to get better communication and connectivity between our basketball operations uh, people and our coaches is to put them all in the same office. So they're right next door to each other. So James's office and Monty's office. Uh, so we'll have everybody up here. I think it'll provide for uh, better communication, more transparency, and also better collaboration. We have another office here. Uh, and then this is kind of the reception area on the second floor, looking down onto what is going to be the lobby of the main entrance to the facility. This building's pretty industrial looking. Um, it's got a lot of concrete. It's got a lot of metal. Uh, did not want to make it look like a Four Seasons spa. I want it to look a little bit hard and workmanlike. Uh, so when players show up to work out here, it's got a little bit of a hard edge to it rather than uh, kind of a comfy, comfy spa looking place, even though it is very nice. I'm not, I'm not, I don't want to mislead anybody, but it is going to have a little more of an industrial kind of aggressive feel to it. Down here, players have their own separate entrance where they'll use a either a retina scan or a fingerprint scan to get in and their parking lot be right down here where this loader is. And they'll have their separate entrance right into their locker room. Again, this is a view from the catwalk looking down on the court, two courts. Um, we're gonna paint the courts just like the main courts. Um, so if you get a chance to see this court when it's done, it'll be just what the main court will look like. Uh, we're actually gonna have two main courts next year. Uh, they'll both be down here, so I may not be able to show it to you real soon because the marketing people are going to surprise everyone. Player lounge area here has got a huge TV wall. There'll be sofa sectionals, place for players to kick back and relax. It's right across from the kitchen. Got a big working kitchen here. One of the things we're going to do, about full-time chefs, and got a big center island there where players can kind of get back there and work a little with the chefs and hopefully they can teach them some uh, some new things to uh, kind of cook quickly at their own house. And you know, it's all about health and nutrition and things like that. This is the player dining room, and again, you can see we've got a great view of Camelback. Now, there is a big window system here because the lower level concrete is actually on the outside. That's the exterior patio, which is for outdoor dining. The big open space is gonna be a glass wall system that fully folds out so it can be totally open just like this. Uh, we want a lot of indoor outdoor views, indoor outdoor feel. It's one of the things we have to offer here in beautiful Phoenix is, is the weather during the winter is pretty nice. Transitioning back to the living room area, going across here uh, to the room next door. This is the game room. Uh, we got a poker table, pool, uh, ping pong. Right by that TV is the barber shop. Guys can get their hair cut here, don't have to go out. This room here, gonna be a golf simulator. Where you can kind of virtually play different golf courses. This room is, is really dark, <laughs> sorry about that. But anyway, this is a gaming room, as you can tell by our, some of our guys like DeAndre and Devin uh, in the 2K tournament, came first and second. So this will be set up for eight people to do video gaming. This room here, which is also very dark, you, you can't really tell, but it's big. It's our active recovery room where players can sit and put on their Thoratec a leg compression equipment, we have a cryotherapy chamber back there. We got a, uh, another piece of equipment that looks like a tanning bed, but it's uh, part of recovery. So we got two massage rooms, uh, you know, joint and tissue, deep muscle tissue massage is all uh, part of the recovery routine. Then this room is, you know, we show those videos with the players that are done in a, what they call a green screen room where they can shoot videos and then superimpose them on different locations. And so we're building that here at the practice facility so it saves the players an extra trip down 
to the arena and we don't stress them on game nights having to do things. Um, got some offices along here. This is the war room, big conference room that'll be used. Um, in this room, uh, where we'll do the draft out of and we'll be available for meetings and events. Some of our sponsors will have some events in here and it's got a nice uh, area that extends out. As you can see right there, there'll be some chairs out there and looks onto the court. So you'll be able to watch practice from here. Again, down on the ground level, we got the court here. This time I'm gonna be looking towards the Phoenix Suns area. The uh, Strength training and workout area will be shared by the Suns and the Mercury. Uh, if you come off the court, uh, you'll see this walkway. To the right here, this big area opens up onto the court is the training area where all the trainers and taping of players, tape stations, uh, our healthcare work that we do. Coming across uh, to this little area here, this is where all the cardio equipment will be. And when you're on the cardio equipment, you're looking at the court. Uh, again, we want all the players to be focused on the court and as nice as the place is, we want everyone to realize we're here to get better at playing basketball. So we try to have as much focus on the court as possible. I'm walking back here towards the locker room, but before I get to the locker room, I go to the right. This is the strength and conditioning coaches area. And across from it is the weight room, which is about three times the size of the weight room we used to have. Um, not sure what all is going in here, but I know it's expensive and it's supposed to be really good. You know, the new thing is you want to measure everything players are doing. Uh, and so not only do we have equipment for working out, we have a lot of equipment to measure everything. So up in this ceiling, you see these plates. Our strength and conditioning coach, Corey, has got a $100,000 set of monkey bars coming here. Uh, actually, it's not monkey bars, but it's called the cloud. It hangs from this and it's all for workouts and it has baskets on it and all sorts of things. I'm kind of excited to see what it is and what it does. It's too high up for me to probably get on to, but I think our players will, uh, will get a lot out of it. These two big openings here are going to be garage doors and these garage doors will open and on the outside is a turf training field. So this is an indoor outdoor exercise facility and um, will all open up. And of course, uh, there are the camel's head. You'll see very few doors in this facility. Our designers designed this player's health in mind and the less spreading of germs, the better. Obviously we know that now for sure, uh, accentuated with COVID-19, but even prior to that, the idea is to have less door handles, door knobs to touch. So there's very, players can come in and out and do whatever they need to do and never have to touch a door handle. This is the Sun's locker room. It's gonna be really cool. These lockers we ordered are from Germany, they're great, but I hope they make it on the ship. They have a return air system in the lockers to take the bad air out of the lockers. The exterior of these lockers will be metal perforated to make the image of Camelback Mountain. And then the focus is on this main wall here. And we have a very, very large piece of video equipment here that's pretty high tech, uh, where the coaches will be able to go through game film. Going back towards the locker room, if I take a right, I go into what they call the wet area. The wet area has over here a steam room, over here, a float pod, which is a low salt water device where you lay and basically deprive yourself of any external stimulation. These are all the showers. Um, go here, you can see the plumbing where each individual shower is. We've got all individual showers. This is where you have your cold plunge, your hot water, uh, or basically hot jacuzzi, and and you see this big hole here. This big hole gets a kind of a crazy piece of equipment in it called a HydroWorks treadmill. It's an underwater treadmill. Uh, the player's recovering from injury rehab on. It's got a lot of technology built in it and screens so trainers can come back here and monitor the progress of players. That's the extent of the interior. Uh, in total, it's uh, about 52,000 square feet of space, uh, and that includes the courts. 
looking back here i'm looking at the phoenix mercury locker rooms in the basketball coaches offices and then as i head to the east looking at the phoenix suns the training conditioning and upstairs their lounge kitchen and restaurant um, if you go down camelback road uh, and head north on 44th you can get a chance on the outside to see uh, what the exterior is going to look like i'll give you just a little peek because they're beginning to put some of the metal skin up as i said the building's entirely made of metal and steel and uh, they've been starting to put some of this metal up they'll be working on wrapping the metal of this building all the way till the project's finished but uh, this is the part of the metal skin of the building and you can see that metal's on the upper side there's a different metal material that'll be coming up in between those two areas and uh, you can see some of the metal there too so essentially that's kind of what the exterior of the building's going to look like it'll be fairly iconic um, looking building and i think it'll be something that our players will really enjoy i think it'll help us from a recruiting standpoint and it'll also help us in that it'll be a place that players will want to spend more time in if they spend more time i think it'll help them become better teammates with each other and better basketball players so that's the whole reason behind this investment um, one last view of the courts and uh, maybe i'll check back with you in another 30 days and show you some more progress so in the meantime um, everybody stay healthy and follow all the rules from the medical professionals and let's hope we can get this virus under control and get our economy back and get people back to work and keep everybody healthy take care